Hey guys, Blue here, and today we're going to be talking about how YouTube really needs to cut it out. So, I, I heard about this mainly through Moist Critical, which I'm sure most of you clicking on this video or people that have already been subscribed have heard about Moist. Um, but basically, YouTube is implementing something where within, I believe, the uh, first 8 to 15 seconds of a video, if you say any cuss word, anything that's really just out of line, you're instantly demonetized. And um, what's happened to a lot of videos for uh, creators is that uh, this, this system is being implemented and it's kind of just killing their channel. Um, <clears throat> now, listen, I know my channel. I'm not pretending that my thing's not anything special. Well, it's kind of a joke when you have someone that's making, like, let's say, TF2 videos or, like, even what I used to play, Dead by Daylight. They're putting all their time into it, making sure that, you know, they're squeaky clean. Um, this person, let's say, Art Starva, right? I love Art Starva. Um, he did, he's basically the top when it comes to YouTube for, uh, let's say, Dead by Daylight videos. And he's going to be hit hard for things that really are outside of his control. And the worst thing about a lot of this is that YouTube keeps giving us things within the rules that are, I would say, iffy, or you can't actually put the a specific um, statement as to, like, okay, this is what we need, this is what we want. Um, what, what what they do is they'll give you, like, let's say, <clears throat> in there, it'll say, uh, there's no dismemberment or uh, release of bodily fluids or whatnot, right? Okay, sure. Uh, let's say body fluids, but, uh, I mean, Moist Critical talks about this, where it's like, let's say this dismemberment. If you're watching, like, Team Fortress 2, where people just, like, in a comedic fashion, just have their limbs explode when they die, or, uh, in, like, even Roblox, which is a kid's game, and they just, boom, like, like, what then, right? Like, that's dismemberment, technically, so th there's, there's a lot going on here that I would say is very iffy, and, uh, the fact that YouTube's being very, uh, unclear about this, it's just unprofessional, I think it's kind of disgraceful. And, and that's what's really sad about a lot of this, is that, like, YouTube is a big company. It's not just some, like, little guy right here, it's a little shrimp, like, this is, like, the company, basically, where you upload videos it's, it's really it's just indie videos that's what i would describe it as and the fact that you don't have this shit together after how much money they have it, it, it's it's a joke no granted obviously this affects my channel so i don't know i don't know man i mean like i, I can rant about this all day but i mean i don't do it for this reason to begin with. you know money helps a lot obviously like I, that's not the reason i do it i'm sure that's why not a lot of other people don't either but it, it does make other content creators wary about if you should keep going down this path and, and i'm sure it's going to make a lot quit but really i mean what, are you going to just keep doing what you're doing, or, uh, you're just going to quit? Or, or you could just go into, like, fucking doing Minecraft. That could work, too. But there's an individual I used to watch a lot. He's one of my favorite, uh, horror creators, actually. And, act uh, he's one that actually introduced me to a lot of indie games. And his name is Riskrim. And, uh, within his video, if I can find the thing, um, he speaks about, um, basically Riskrim. He said, if your videos get demonetized and you don't know why, check the generated captions from YouTube. And mistaken the word take for the word uh, male genitalia. Basically, that's all I'm going to say. And also in the same video is mistaken poor for the word corn, not the other word. You know, the other word than that. So it, it's very sensitive what YouTube actually thinks people are saying. And um, I, I, I think what's happening is that a lot of YouTube is using things from the metadata, which I think is a bad thing. A lot of people are getting things recommended to them that they don't even like anymore from YouTube. And I don't know what their algorithm is doing, but I think it's horrible. Really, really, it's made for kids. And um, a lot of people are arguing how uh, YouTube is doing things for YouTube kids that uh, really shouldn't be being implemented onto YouTube itself. Because since there's already two separate apps, which there should be, I think that's completely a good idea because there's tons of kids that are watching YouTube now, right? These kids are just going to be watching Minecraft for days, falling asleep to it, watching Cocomelon for days, falling asleep to it. That's fine. You know, I mean, they're, they're, they're brain dead little rats. That's good. You know, let them watch it. But, but, um, you, you can't tell me that someone's not going to want to sit here and uh, say, okay, well, let's make some uh, documentaries, right? Like the murder mystery things. And there's not going to be some kind of advertisers that are okay with that. If that's the case, then we wouldn't have sci-fi channel on uh, regular TV. There, it just wouldn't exist. But clearly it does, and that's because advertisers will still advertise that content. Even though it does have some darker connotations. It clearly talks about death. I know there's some swear words that are buzzed out, right? Um, I mean, there is visuals that may not or sh could not uh, be there, but clearly it is. Um, and let's say gore, right? There's movie channels like FX that exist that still get tons and tons of ads on it. So I just, I'm not buying this narrative. I'm, I'm really not. And what I really think it is, is that I think that YouTube's too lazy to make certain changes when it comes to uh, how advertisers are seeing different types of videos. And I think they're not able to separate YouTube kids completely from YouTube and they're scared to. And because of that, uh, because they're, you know, they care more about like the kids section of anything, because I mean, the majority of their audience is going to be kids. Um, they're basically shooting themselves in the foot. 
uh, in my opinion. And it, it's going to it's going to turn out bad for them, really, really bad. And at some point, I mean, like we with most things, you know, you just want to go downhill. People want to start switching other app platforms, blah, yada, yada, yada. yada. But the thing is, like, th there shouldn't be people having to deal with this in the first place and have to feel like, okay, is this really a place I belong? And that that's that's horrible. Now, do I understand the YouTube algorithm perfectly? No. Um, but I do understand that the way they change things when it comes to metadata is a big thing. And it's not like legacy YouTube where, you know, uh, when you're actually putting things into the title and the thumbnail and the tags, especially tags and categories, they don't matter that much anymore. You just don't. And I, and I think it's really killing youtube i really do um and it's not so much about the relationship between the creator and the uh the viewer anymore now it's about what's going to get youtube the most views and i think the fact that it's more about in my opinion youtube doing better instead of uh the the creator and viewer member like you know relationship i think i think it's kind of disgusting and i i really do not appreciate that and i think there's a lot of things that youtube could do better i really do i always think uh you know youtube is in a lot of ways has grown but I mean, you could see disconnect uh, from YouTube and its audience and its creators for a long time. For example, if we just look at all of the um, YouTube rewinds, they all have done bad. And it's because everybody hates YouTube. YouTube doesn't care about us, so we, we don't feel like we need to care back. And it, it, it hurts. There's There have been multiple clashes between people like, let's say, Corey Kenshin and Markiplier having to stand up. And even Markiplier, Markiplier one of the nicest guys on the platform, being attacked because of YouTube not being able to do things on their own. Or actually even caring about what they do. It's it's a pride thing. Really, in my opinion. It's a pride thing. And what they need to do is step off the pedestal and be like, okay, we're messing up here. Our creators aren't going to want to keep creating more. And this isn't going to be a healthy environment. Let's do something about it. Um, I, I, what, I, what I see this as is almost an abusive parasitic relationship from YouTube only taking and never getting back. And in a way, you could say that's neglect. Completely, that's a neglect, and, and and what they're doing is from, by not addressing it or saying, okay, we're going to do better, let's fix this, and uh, staying on that pedestal, I, I think it's going to make it worse for um, them in the long run, and whether you like it or not, people are going to find a way to survive. It's just how we are, you know, as individuals, you know, maybe not everyone, but, you know, the people at the top will always find a way, and that might mean not a future of YouTube, and I want, you know, YouTube to stay. It's just that you're not going to if you don't bend the knee. So, um, that's my video. That's what I have to say. Um, I just hope things get better. I want to thank, uh, you know, Moist for obviously calling this out because I wouldn't have found out about it if it wasn't for him. Um, and he's always on, on top of this kind of stuff. But, um, also want to, you know, shout out people like Risk for, you know, talking about what, um, is actually going on with like captions, for example, and just how much of a disconnect there is. Really, all we're kind of at the mercy of is just this algorithm. And then YouTube trying their best to remedy what, uh, terms and conditions are, you know, what the rules are, which are still up in the air, like like a little fantasy land, uh, where we all just pretend we care about, but really really nobody knows. Nobody cares. Um, and it's just, it, it's kind of depressing. So, um, but at the end of the day, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you can, obviously, it helped me. Uh, subscribe, leave a like. Uh, and uh, best I can say is, uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I'll talk about this more if you guys want another video. But um, it, it, it's not looking good. And, um, the last thing I'm going to say is YouTube, get your stuff together. Not okay, man. Really, it's, it's not. It's weak. Pathetic. My name is Bush and I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys. Whoop.